and it continues on. What I'm demanding is that the Republican-led House of Representatives move forward on an impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden, because this type of corruption should never be allowed to stand. You know, here comes our favorite girl, Marjorie Taylor Greene, with the answers to our questions. We must expunge President Trump's wrongful impeachments, and we must impeach Joe Biden. I yield back, Mr. Speaker. For the sake of justice and freedom, just go ahead and throw out all of Trump's crimes. You know, you throw out the fact that he brought the nuclear documents. Just, just throw all that out. Forget about all that. You know, just go find something with Joe Biden. Just, just throw some against the wall and make it stick. You know, oh, well, actually, the other day I found out that his dog, Commander, can't stop biting people. So let's go ahead and impeach Biden because uh, his, his dog, you know, won't keep his mouth to himself. Listen, I'm... Uh, Listen, a, a younger, less experienced comedian would make a joke about like a dog having erratic behavior could be associated with a, a, a dog coming into contact with some cocaine. But I personally am not <laughs> going to make that joke. But unfortunately for Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, Ted Lou wanted to bring something up that everybody kind of forgot about. So let's check that out. On July 19th, 2023, federal judge Lewis Kaplan rejected Donald Trump's request for a new trial and confirmed that Donald Trump raped E. Jean Carroll. I'm going to submit this court ruling into the congressional record, and now I'm going to read you what the judge found. On page 43, the judge wrote, Ms. Carroll testified that the sexual assault, the rape, of which she accused Mr. Trump involved especially painful forced digital penetration. The judge further writes, the testimony of the outcry witnesses, Ms. Birnbach and Ms. Martin, corroborated the essence of Ms. Carroll's account of a violent, traumatic sexual assault. On page 44, the judge wrote, the jury's finding of sexual abuse therefore necessarily implies that it found that Mr. Trump forcibly penetrated her vagina. The judge further writes, in other words, that he raped her. You know, it's like the entire country right now, especially the Republican Party, is just in this battle with itself to not say sorry, to not say, hey, I messed up, to not say, hey, I was wrong. It's literally that just on a grand macro scale, because, you know, what y'all could do is just move on from Donald Trump and find somebody else, given the fact that we don't live in a monarchy, we don't live in an aristocracy, we don't live in a dictatorship or nothing along those lines. Like after 2024, Trump's done. It's literally done. And you're throwing all your eggs into a basket for somebody who legally can only have another four years in office if he were to win. But the fact is, is that, you know, independents and swing voters more and more, as all of this heat piles up on top of Donald Trump, they, swing voters and independents aren't going to vote for Donald Trump. And this whole time, y'all could have been finding another messiah, but you are literally going to go down with the ship.